Hello! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I welcome you. I am Virginie, an interior designer, and I deal with houses that represent 100% where to leave them, from consulting to the entire renovation process. I also help foreigners who want to buy and renovate in Italy to support them all the process long, otherwise difficult to follow from a distance. In this channel, I will talk about home and renovation, trying to give you helpful tips so that you can have your dream house, a house that represents you in depth and where you will always feel at your ease. Today, I would like to talk about the kitchen and how to decorate it to make it functional, but also beautiful and cozy. But before we get started, if you love everything related to the home and renovation topic, remember to subscribe to my channel for more information on this subject. And please don't forget to click the like button, because it's the best way to support this channel and my content, and I truly appreciate it. The kitchen is the most functional part of the home and the beating heart of it. Knowing how to decorate it in the best way possible is essential to ensure that it is also cozy and inviting. In an interview with former chef Patty Smith, you find it here and I leave the link in the description box below, we mentioned the importance of designing a kitchen starting with appliances. Once you have chosen them, you can move on to the rest of the kitchen, choosing style and colors. To give that extra touch to this room, uh, improve its functionality and its design, 10 elements should always be present. Let's see them together. It's easy to say faucet. People don't always give much importance to this element, but carefully choosing it could change the face of your kitchen. Don't settle for the classic faucet. Uh, choose a faucet that is not only functional, but also original. Ensure that it can echo with color or its shape and style other elements in the kitchen. There is really an endless number of choices in both shapes and color on the market and all prices. Candles are powerful details. They are defining elements of a kitchen. They help define the style and can really give that extra touch. Evaluate the materials, textures and colors present to choose the shape and color that best fits. Get handles or knobs that perhaps contrast with the color of the cabinets, but pick up the materials and color of the faucet. Unless the windows are large and overlook a spectacular view, curtains are essential for decorating the kitchen. Curtains dress up the room and add, add sorry, warmth. <laughs> if the kitchen is not large or you have cabinets under the window, you can opt for panels or even packet glass curtains, in which case you can even keep them a half height. If, on the other hand, the size allows, you can also mm, put wrappers. Why not? Of course, you will have to wash these curtains more often than the others in the house because they will absorb others. But it is a minor inconvenience that will be amply repaired by the aesthetics they will bring. Plants, we have said on other occasions, make you feel close to nature, and this has no inconsiderable psychological implications. In fact, plants can reduce stress by increasing your productivity. Besides, green is a calming color. As if this were not enough, plants have purifying properties, allowing you to breathe better air. They are fabulous for decorating the kitchen because they will give it a touch of elegance that never hurts. They can be aromatic plants, raising on the countertop, on the island if you have one, or on some shelves, or, if space allows, 
even floor plans. If you have a garden, bringing branches to the kitchen to put in the water in glass vases can be another way to add a touch of freshness to the kitchen. As always, what will really make your kitchen unique is putting something personal, something that can represent you. Vases, cutting boards, cookbooks, paintings, special items of dishware such as an old teapot, for example, or any other object that is part of you are all elements that serve to decorate your kitchen, but also and especially to show your personality. These details are paramount to making any room unique and give it character. They may not always be visible because it's locked in drawers or cupboards. However, succeeding in organizing to the best um, dishes, utensils and pantries will help to have a more practical and functional kitchen perhaps avoiding keeping too many non-essential things on the countertop. Additionally, keeping everything well organized will make it easier to maneuver while cooking your delicacies. There are many tools on the market to do this, such as containers, lid racks, shelf dividers, cutlery racks, utensils, drawers, dividers, etc. It is paramount to have a clear idea of the things you use most to place them strategically and functionally. To do this, consider how you move around the kitchen and your needs when preparing food. Once you have identified this and taken the various measurements correctly, you surely can buy the most suitable tools for the perfect kitchen organization. Good lighting is essential always, but it becomes even more so in the kitchen. Ambient overhead lighting is good, but absolutely not enough. You must supplement with under-counter lighting. That is, first of all, functional, because it allows you to correctly illuminate the countertop, avoiding the shadows that the other light could create. Different types of illumination give the movement and create an atmosphere. Depending on the shape and size of your kitchen, add also decorative lamps, which can be an extra light support in addition to beautifying this room. For example, it becomes essential to add a chandelier on the table or the island if you have one. On the island, it can also be a series of the same lamps. By doing so, you will better eliminate that specific area by adding a piece of furniture that creates movement and gives depth. Shapes and colors should go with the rest of the kitchen. If you use lamps with metal parts, for example, they might remind you the handles and or the sink faucet. Natural materials and textures help warm up rooms by making them cozy and comfortable. In the kitchen, you can do it by putting wooden items such as wooden bowls, cutting boards and cutlery in plain sides or baskets, perhaps as pot covering for parents. They can be furniture elements such as shelves or tools if you have an island, etc. Along with plants or pots with branches and flower, this is another way to bring nature into the home and decorate the kitchen in a simple but effective way. These details will always go perfectly with whatever color and style you have in your kitchen, giving it an extra touch of sophistication. Unless you are a giant, having stool or ladders become essential for getting to the highest shelves of cabinets in the kitchen. Of course, you can choose folding ladders that you can retract and hide from view. Or use ladders and stool as an integral part of your kitchen decoration. 
You can find all kinds of them on the market. The wooden ones can even be colored to suit your taste or colors or you already have. Are there other things you think should never be missing in your kitchen? Let me know in the comments. I hope the video was helpful and you love it. In case, let me know with a thumbs up and again in the comments. Please feel free to share this video with someone you think might be interested in the topic. I will be honored and it will help me grow my channel. If you feel that your home or some environment of it does not reflect you enough, don't wait any longer and book your consultancy. You can find my contact in the description box below. If you already haven't done it yet, remember to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you will not miss the upcoming video. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.